Welcome back to another episode of Mystery Garage. Today's a Wednesday episode. We always get to work on Project Stepchild here. But uh, I'm actually doing this episode a little different because I've already started. So let's take a look what I got myself into. So welcome back to another episode of Mystery Garage. So let's start discussing what we're doing in today's episode. So, uh, you know, I've been working so hard on putting out content each and every week, both on projects like this and projects like Stepchild and the Blue Rabbit and everything else. We've been working so hard on creating content that I've actually let the cleanliness of my garage slip. So I came on here today uh, before I was gonna start filming and I thought I would start cleaning up. And I kind of got carried away with that program and I've, you know, let me show you how messy things got. So let's not forget that I've already started cleaning a lot of this stuff. I got parts piled up. You know, I got stacks of bolts and screws and everything I needed to sort. I got doors that people said, you know, on Marketplace they were gonna come get and didn't. I got piles of junk all over my counter from doing uh, work on Stepchild here. And let's not forget, I've already done a lot of this cleaning. So uh, this whole uh, table was full of junk. Again, headlights, somebody's gonna come pick up. Uh, over here in my last episode, I showed you uh, just how much junk was piled on this table uh, as I was trying to access my parts cleaner here. Um, lots of stuff I got to get rid of still, clean up some chemicals and that sort of thing. I got stacks of wheels and all my parts to finish off Stepchild. I got engines and all that kind of stuff behind the car. So as I've kept going here, you know, I'm somebody who likes to keep things neat. Obviously, you can tell from the bins behind me. I like to stay organized. And because I've been putting out so much content... Oop. I actually lost control of the cleanliness of my shop. I've just been piling up stuff left, right, and center, hoping that, and hiding it in the corner, hoping that you guys aren't gonna see it in the episodes to still make my garage look clean. You know, I take pride in making sure this place is clean. But how does that tie into today's episode? Well, as I was cleaning, I was thinking, man, this car has been sitting here for five, six months now. I think it's time to slap some wheels on it and roll it outside so I can clean up properly. So that's what's gonna happen in today's episode. We're actually gonna throw some wheels on it. No, I'm not gonna put the brand new stuff on. The reason why is this thing needs to go to paint. So I'm not gonna put good wheels on it, not gonna put good suspension on it or anything like that. I'm really just gonna throw some old bits I have for this car on it so I can wheel it out of the garage, roll it around, roll it to the paint shop, all that sort of stuff. I'll still be able to work on it, but I can take it down from these sawhorses for now. As we get the rest of the car ready to go to the paint shop, uh, I think that will be awesome for not only my garage cleanliness, but be able to move this car around. It sat where it is and has been there for many, many months, and I think it's time to make a difference. So I thought that would be a pretty cool episode today in getting this car out of the garage. I do need to actually like, rinse it off. It's covered in dust, and that way we can get to work on finishing the remaining parts of it. So let me show you what I got. So as I was cleaning up all this stuff, sorting bolts, and let me show you kind of how I do it. This is all my Volkswagen um this is not all of it <laughs> you should actually be amazed at how much junk i collect but this is all the random pieces the weird knickknack stuff um that you need when you're doing a build you're like oh i dropped that piece like a clutch clutch cable clip and all that kind of junk that i keep in here i keep little uh you know this is for a uh, sway bar uh all those little brackets and things that you keep when you're doing your you know volkswagen builds you're like oh man i need it i keep piles of hose clamps and i keep all these rubber grommets and things, block offs and, and tucks, um, firewall tucks and all that sort of stuff. It just helps when you're doing a build to come across and say, hey, I really could use some of that stuff. I sort all my bolts. Uh, so this is just a bucket of bolts. Then I got a bucket of washers and screws, uh, nuts. Um, what are those? Those are fender bolts. And I got a whole bucket of wheel nuts. And I just keep that stuff hanging around and I keep it sorted. So that way when I need something, I'm in a jam. Like for example, when I was building this car for uh, Dave here, I needed so many little pieces and little clips and bits that I couldn't find in his bins. And I just went into my treasure trove of stuff and it was able to make this thing. This is like literally factory as far as like the proper clips and the proper places, no hokiness, proper clamps, all that sort of stuff. And I, I like to finish cars out that way because um, 
I have the ability to do it by just keeping spares around. So anyway, moral of the story is, in today's episode, we're gonna get this car out of the garage or at least moving around or rolling around just so I can clean up what's obviously piled behind it and all that kind of stuff. And it'll also help move this project forward by getting it down on its wheels again and really start to play with it, with it being mobile. So <clears throat> that being said, I went out and collected some of the old suspension stuff that I've kept. Uh, this is an old beam, uh, granted it has drum brakes on it still. Uh, these are the front suspension components that we actually pulled off this car. I'm gonna quickly uh, reduce its mass, meaning I'm gonna get rid of the drive shafts. I'm gonna get rid of, uh, you know, some of the big heavy components that are on this stuff. I'm gonna leave the rear beam basically where it is. I'm just gonna slap this under the car so I can roll it around. And getting it down off of here will actually be a, uh, you know, a huge step in the right direction for this project, as well as cleaning up the garage so we can really get back to it. Um, <clears throat> car beside me here, the Mark II, we're gonna see uh, suspension upgrades, so full coilover kit, rear disc brakes in the coming episode pretty quick. Um, we're just waiting to fire this car when Dave gets here, but um, you know that will be on a coming episode. So we'll be able to have the whole garage on wheels properly, rolling around, clean it all out, and start to really get projects moving ahead. When this car leaves the shop to go to paint, um, I'm actually, I have, um, not new, but uh, a different set of suspension components that we're actually gonna clean up in its absence. So when this car is getting painted, we're gonna take care of cleaning up all the suspension components, brand new, you know, bushings and, and, and you know, paint everything and clean everything up. So that way when this car comes back, we're able to throw on the components that are more or less all rebuilt or uh, refinished. So um, that's kind of the plan here, or at least what I've come up with. You have to remember a lot of this stuff was on the whim, but uh, it, it's actually the first nice day in a long time. And I really got that whole feeling of spring clean. Let's get going. Let's clean up the shop. Let's, let's get to work. Uh, you know, I woke up pretty early. I had a lot of hustle in today. So I really want to get this done. I think this is going to mean a lot for the shop and cleaning things out and actually be able to move things around a little bit better. So without further ado, let's get back to work. Never hung a real 
rear beam by yourself in the back before? Okay, let's get these front fenders bolted on properly so that way they don't fall off. All right, now I'm getting excited. Okay, so uh, got the front end on. Um, some massive brakes, fully vented. Uh, and what I did is I threw in the, you probably saw me throw in the rack. That's just to make sure the wheels don't go cockeyed and, and when you're trying to push it and stuff. I'm not gonna worry about the steering column because I still wanna have access to do the, doing finishing up the bay and that sort of thing. Same thing with painting, having that rack in the way is just annoying, or having the column in the way is just annoying. So I won't worry about that. Um, again, this side's all done in the back here. Cut the drums and the rear beam up. Um, so we're good there. And over to the other side of the car, same deal. Obviously the beam's all one, so you know that's done. So now we'll just throw some tires on this thing and we are getting close. I'm getting super excited. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Dave, I'm boring your wheels. They're cooler than any weather ones I got lying around and you got new wheels coming anyway. All right, this thing's gonna sit like a monster truck because there's absolutely no weight to it and suspension's gonna send it to the moon, but let's get it down. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Well, there you go. I told you, as soon as we got the bodywork done, things would progress really, really quickly. And look, it's out of the garage. After five or six months of sitting here, we finally got it out of the garage. Now let's go take a look, because the best part's still outside. What a beautiful day it is outside, and what an awesome day to hit such a huge milestone on the car to get it out of the garage. Like I said, you know, once we got the bodywork done, uh, the project moves along quite a bit faster than it has been, but, uh, you know, it's funny to say that almost eight months ago when I brought this car home, we were in the exact same place, but the car was loaded and full of rust and we just didn't know it. But now we're a much better place. We're almost ready for paint. It's not paint ready quite yet. Uh, there's a few things we need to do before we get it off to the paint shop, but now it is prepared and ready to roll to the paint shop. Not only that, it's just a very nice way to get this car outside and take in some of this sunshine. Let's take a look.
oh man am i ever happy you know there's a lot of stuff we're still going to do to this car like i said but now that i can roll around and move around you know it's much easier to use and start working with and you know bring it out into the light see it especially when it's nicer outside we can start working on outside a little bit but uh huge day for sure but that about wraps up for today for filming guys thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it i still got all this junk in the garage to deal with and it's going to take a little while and i only got a couple hours of daylight left so again thank you very much for watching really do appreciate it love to hear what you guys think in the comments but like i said we're going to continue to move this car along and it's going to go faster and faster as the time goes on till next time take care